At the end of the summer of 2018, I reviewed um, this one, Gods and Heroes of Ancient Greece, and I was thoroughly disappointed uh, by this Barnes and Nobles, uh, or rather not real Barnes and Nobles edition. Uh, there were many flaws, uh, and I'll let you watch my review on that um, if you're interested to find out what those flaws are. Um, this mythology, Timeless Tales of Gods and Heroes by Edith Hamilton, uh, is a much nicer uh, book. Uh, uh, I'd like to show it to you. Um, the illustrations are by Jim Tierney. Um, it's not faux leather bound like the Barnes & Noble one is. Uh, however, it is very nicely bound. Uh, the, um, the dust cover is it's kind of a, of a waxy paper. Um, uh, I am a little bit concerned about how easily marked it is. Uh, I'll show you the back of it. Uh, and this is the way I received it from Amazon. I guess it wasn't very well uh, taken care of in the um, in the warehouse, but do you know what? I can live with it. Uh, it really is only the back that's, that's affected. Uh, the spine of it looks very nice on the shelf. Um, and the front of it is very nice with this, uh, it's kind of a copper uh, copper gold uh, detail. Let me just uh, get in a little bit closer here on the on the detail of that cover, which is really nice. It's a little bit, um, a little bit uh, of relief on there. Not very much, but um, but you can you, you can you can feel it just barely under your finger um, the way it's been printed. Uh, and here it is, a 75th anniversary illustrated edition. So you can see care has been taken over this uh, dust jacket. What you get um, inside is um, uh, glossy. It, uh, it looks quite nice. Uh, this is what the spine looks like on the inside. If you decide to take off that dust jacket, um, so you see it's uh, it's quite glossy. It's um, it's actually very nice. Um, copper gold color. There we are. Uh, it's a nice design on. And what do we get? So what we get on the inside is really a. A great reference book with uh, everything you could possibly hope for. The gods, um, uh, the stories of love of an, uh, an adventure. Uh, the great heroes before the Trojan War, uh, the heroes of the Trojan War, the great families of mythology. And then the less important myths, such as Midas and, and others. Uh, there are a couple of um, Norse myths thrown in, but uh, uh, yeah, I'd say that if you want um, Norse mythology, maybe go with Neil Gaiman's new book, um, or possibly the, um, the book on Norse mythology by, Barn by Barnes & Noble, the, um, the leatherback edition. This are, these are the... Um, Illustrations. There are ten main um, uh, color illustration plates throughout the book. And the book um, clocks in at around yeah 350 odd pages, including the index at the at the very back. And what do we get? So mythology, introduction. And then it just gets stuck in with the um, part one, Gods of the Creation. So you can see a, a lot of care has been put into the um, uh, into the design of the book. Uh, you have a family tree of the principal gods. You actually have family trees at the beginning of, of uh, most of the chapters. The, um, the pages are, are written in in these two main colors. It's a, a brown color and a, 
and black. It feels like they haven't been cheap on uh, on space. It feels like they've they've really um, chosen to make a, a, a pleasant reading experience for for the reader. Uh, and here's here's the first example of um, of an illustration plate with Zeus. You can see it's very nicely stylized. Lovely rich colours. Okay, um, I believe the first edition of this, um, yeah, was uh, was uh, 1942. Um, I don't know if the original was as beautiful as this one, but uh, certainly not um, not impossible. Tone illustration um, style, which, uh, which carries on throughout the the entire edition. Uh, what else can I find for you? Might be of interest. So another another color illustration. The Cyclops, Polyphemus. Not sure if that's the way you pronounce that. And you can see uh, some more, some more family trees here, being the descendants of Prometheus. What else can I show you? Oh, is that a nice picture of Medusa? Okay, so you get the general idea. There are, there are ten of these um, color illustrations throughout, um, and uh, and yeah, and it's it's very nicely written. It's uh, it's written in a very easy to read style, uh, suitable for for adults and uh, and advanced reading children. Um, there's nothing nothing um, obscure about it. There's nothing unsuitable about it it's all just very very nice very uh, very well written and presented book uh, of course it'll be up to you as if if you are thinking of giving this to a child it'd be up to you to you know to remember that these are after all um, uh, Myths, <laughs> uh, and therefore not fairy tales, or, or rather not uh, not children's stories. But um, but I think that, um, that that most children nowadays, um, over the age of seven, could uh, easily deal with with uh, anything that um, that this volume throws at them. Um, so there we go. Um, very very nice uh, edition. Um, of uh, the Greek mythologies. Thanks for watching. Um, do like, give me a thumbs up if uh, you like the video, and uh, if you'd like to see more uh, of my reviews, I'll be back with uh, a few more over the weekend. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching again. Take care. Bye.